Hi all, welcome back for, to another uh, tutorial from Guide to SolidWorks. Now this is a um, seventh tutorial in the Beginner's Guide to Modeling. So we're uh, going to have a look today at using some chamfer tools. So we're starting off um, in this exercise using the vertex chamfer tool to create these triangular shaped chamfers here. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial, five minutes or so, um, just to get us into being able to use these tools. If you're new to the channel, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe as you're going through. The content we're producing here is just to try and get us um, learning SolidWorks, developing our knowledge, and hopefully becoming quite proficient in the use of SolidWorks. This tutorial again is great for beginners, so have a go and um, we'll see how we get on. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get into modeling this. So we're gonna start off by starting on the right plane and we're gonna sketch on that. And I'm gonna create a cube. So I'm gonna go to the center rectangle and I am gonna extend that out and then add some sizes to it. So let's dimension this up. So I'm going to go to Smart Dimension at the top, and I'm going to say the height is 40, and the width across the bottom is 40. Now it's going to extrude out by 60. So I'm going to Features, Extrude, and bring that out by 60, like so. Okay. Now from that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chamfer tool. So I'm just going to take me through using the chamfer tool. So chamfer here. And I'm going to create a triangle in this section here. Okay, so using this point. So what that means is if I go to the chamfer tool here, I need this third one along this vertex tool. So I'm going to click on that vertex tool. And I'm going to click on the corner here. Now what I find um, is that I find it easy to use this box here to actually show me my dimensions because they relate exactly to the differences down the sides rather than using the one over here because uh, without the link it's hard to tell which one's which. So I also want to set a full preview so I can actually see what's going on. So full preview and you'll see it's got a triangle there. Now I need to manipulate this so that it comes all the way up to the end but comes in here as well. So it's going to go 20 mil across. So 20 across that way. And it's going to come 20 down. Right. Now the distance all the way across here. Uh, sorry, that one's 20. I've done the wrong one. 20 there. And the distance all the way across here is going to be 60. So find out which one connects to that. That one there. So distance number three is going to be 60 all the way across. Like so. And tick there. And I get that triangle cut out there on that side. And I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side. So chamfer. Again. Click on this corner. So I identify which one I want to use, which chamfer I want to use. So that's going to be the triangle vector one there and pick the corner. Now you can see, because we've already inserted the sizes, it's remembered them. Now what you might find sometimes is it does them in the wrong order, so it might try going 60 this way, 20, 20. So you just have to manipulate the values to make it so it fits right. But as you can see here, spot on. And a tick there, and we've got the shape we were after. So that's just a nice quick one for us to have a go at introducing that extra chamfer tool. So just to finish this off, I'm going to add a um, material to this. So I'll right click on there, appearance. And let's just add it to that whole body. And I'm just going to turn it into a color. So let's say um, blue there. So like a turquoisey color, tealy color. Now, I'm also going to add it to the chamfers, and you'll see the whole model's now in that color. Okay, let's put it in the nice uh, 
asymmetric view. There we go. And we've got that model finished off. Okay, so I hope this hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. It's just a quick one to get used to using um, uh, the chamfer tool in another format rather than just creating a flat edge. Um, uh, please subscribe. Please uh, like and like the videos if it content's good. If you're enjoying the content, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.